A shocking video has emerged out of Oklahoma, where an armed thug thought he was going to ambush two Tulsa Police Department gang unit officers from behind the tinted glass of his SUV. Instead, the violent lowlife got a horrific surprise that he wasn't counting on. Criminals aren't usually the sharpest tools in the shed, and this breaking story out of Tulsa is disturbing proof of that. According to Blue Lives Matter, the shocking incident took place at approximately 12.30 p. m. on Monday, May 7, 2018, when officers Chris Barrell and Sean Hickey stopped to speak with multiple male occupants of an SUV. According to police, the SUV was parked outside of an extended stay hotel in an area known to law enforcement to be a hotbed for drug traffickers and gang activity. Officers Barrel and Hickey definitely had their guardian angels looking out for them that day because the thugs in the vehicle had no qualms about killing cops. Koki reported that one of the men exited the SUV and was seen standing outside one of the hotel room doors when Officer Hickey confronted him on foot. Officer Hickey asked the man, do you stay here? The man told Officer Hickey that he had just gotten a room. While Officer Hickey had the first suspect engaged in conversation, Officer Barrel walked up to the passenger side of the vehicle and tapped on the blacked-out window. After not receiving a response from knocking on the window, Officer Barrel tried opening the door to no avail. The door was locked. The officer then motioned for the occupant to roll the window down with no response. Hey, how you doing, sir? Officer Barrel asked another passenger as he made his way to the driver's side of the vehicle. You stay out here? The passenger quickly told Officer Barrel that he was just dropping off his friend. The officer's view of the suspect was partially blocked by the driver's side door. As Officer Barrel moved around the vehicle he said, let me see your hands, partner. Hey! Hey! Another person shouted from inside the vehicle. This is when Officer Barrel had enough and raised his weapon to protect himself. I think far too often people forget that in those moments, officers aren't raising their weapon to hurt or kill anyone, they are doing so because they know their own lives are in danger. I can't imagine there being enough gratitude on this planet for someone who wants to do that job every day. What do you got? Officer Barrel asked the remaining passenger, then the officer quickly reached forward and pushed the driver's side door open so he could see behind the tinted glass. Hey, the remaining passenger shouted again. This is when Officer Barrel caught a glimpse of the gun being held by the front seat passenger and it was pointed at him. In an instant, Officer Barrel fired multiple rounds at the suspect in the front seat. As the door shut, he continued to fire through the side of the vehicle. Police said that the suspect returned fire at the officer without hitting him. Officer Barrel radioed for help, saying, shots fired. Then, Officer Barrel screamed, get on the ground, at one of the passengers who had casually walked to the opposite side of the lot during the gunfire. Officer Barrel looked back at the suspect inside the vehicle and shouted, hands. Let me see your hands right now. He further commanded, don't move, before telling his partner he's still got the gun in his hand. The suspect who fired on Officer Barrel was identified as 26-year-old Albert Odom and he had committed his last criminal act. A short time later, Odom was pronounced dead at the scene. Odom had multiple convictions for drug-related offenses, according to local news source KOTV.
The two other suspects fled the scene but were apprehended by police a short time later. It's because of outstanding police work by officers such as Beryl and Hickey that we have safer communities. Next time you see a cop, be sure to thank them for putting their lives on the line for you and your family.